Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video about NBA Youngboy as well as his baby mama, Jania Michelle, and let's not forget Cece of Bad Girls Club, Louisiana, as well as NBA Youngboy's other baby mama, KL Marie. Let's not forget Money Yaya as well as Fredo Bang. And last but not least, DeJounte Murray. And before we get into this video, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Oh y'all, I've been gone for days and it's been so much stuff going on in these YouTube and social media streets while I've been gone y'all and I've just been so blown away while I've been lurking. And to be honest y'all, it was just absolutely all over the place and I don't even know where to start so we just gonna jump into it from where I remember last. So where we left off last time, you guys, was basically Money Yaya exposing NBA Youngboy's baby mama star DJ. And y'all, I was just never really able to decipher for myself if Money Yaya and Star had set that up in order to expose what really happened at Dump Day. Because, I mean, are they really even cool like that? The theory that I had in mind, you guys, was basically Jania, Michelle, and YB had spent Valentine's Day together. And I'm thinking that after Valentine's Day, he got up the next day and he went back to Baton Rouge. Which put him in the presence of KL Marie and Star Dijonay during Dump Day. I remember correctly in the last video I did, I told y'all that I could not find any footage of what really happened during Dump Day. But unfortunately, I was not able. And there was one person who did hit me up in my DMs, you guys. And they told me that they had a video of Star and YB basically in a confrontation allegedly and she told me that basically if she was to give me the video she didn't want me to post it and incriminate nba young boy i kid y'all not this is what we talked about that lady said she had the video and she wanted to send it to me but she wanted me to cut out the part where yb allegedly hit star dj first and she wanted me to make it look like that star through the first punch. And I'm talking like this, you guys, because I really, I want to make sure that I'm saying everything correctly because I don't have the DMs in front of me. I'm actually rushing because I'm late on this video. I ain't, I was supposed to have it out a long time ago. So I told the lady that if she gave me the video, I would do my best to edit it. But she said from the way that the confrontation was set up that there was really no way that you could edit it. And so unless I was posting the full video and incriminating him then I wasn't going to be able to use it as proof. Therefore, she decided not to give it to me. And it really kind of made me annoyed, y'all. Like, I told the lady, like, why would you even get my hopes up like that? I mean, yes, of course, you guys. I don't want you to get me wrong. Yes, I wanted footage from that day because who wouldn't? But at the same time, I understood what the lady was talking about as far as why be incriminating himself or her incriminating him by providing me with the video. And so she said that she really didn't. She wanted to wait until everything blew over before she put the video out and I really understand that because I mean as Louisianians and I really just made up a word y'all as Louisianians I feel like that y'all are a close-knit community and with YB being an upcoming celebrity artist like surviving up out of Louisiana why would y'all put him down you know but I was really just more or less wondering why the lady even hit me up and said anything about it because it's not like I reached out to you. But I just want to let you guys know that I tried and if it's really meant for us then I feel like it'll come out on the internet later. But for now we don't have a video. Okay so now that we have gotten that established we can actually move forward into the video and so I wanted to basically get y'all caught up because I know I haven't uploaded in a couple of days and I'm going to be giving y'all a lot of information so I don't want y'all to be confused. So of course after Valentine's Day happened and Dump Day happened and Casey's birthday happened and everybody went back to their lives in the midst of everything settling back into place, Money Yaya hasn't had a phone. And in my last video, I reminded y'all that the phone that Cece said that she had at the hotel that the friend of Yaya's had dropped really turned out to be Money Yaya's phone, I think, because she hasn't had a phone since that specific time she was in Dallas. I heard through the grapevine that allegedly Money Yaya had been using her mom's phone in the meantime, in between time when she's ready to get on Twitter and start tweeting. And girl, let me tell you some of the things one of y'all been saying. I mean, we already seen this tweet where she said, I'm not going to Valentine's Day. I wasn't invited. 
But then she kept going like... I knew this girl had to be trying to communicate to young boy through her Twitter because these tweets, you guys, like, Money Yaya was in her feelings. She says, it's been too long, baby, since you've been gone from me and I miss your touch. And if I said anything that I shouldn't have said, I'm sorry. And then Money Yaya had retweeted Jada Waiter's tweet saying that he fell in love with a rich itch and then she said what did future say you can't help who you love ninjas that's why god made the ninjas y'all tell me why that i was watching while money y'all y'all was tweeting all of this you guys and i guess she started sharing fighting videos she just kept retweeting fighting videos and so it really made me wonder like why is this girl sharing all these fighting videos when she came down to dallas and got dragged y'all and I really had to sacrifice my Twitter account to tag Money Yaya in my post, you guys. And she blocked me. I mean, I knew that she was going to see it, you guys. And I knew that she was going to block me. And I mean, I'm not worried about it because how hard is it to get your tweets, girl? But y'all, I was just too weak. And then I'm new to Twitter. So I just love all the gifts and stuff that they got on there and how you could just basically explain all of your emotion in one gif. And so I had used this gif of this man dragging the trash to the trash can and and I guess she just did not like that, y'all. Because that girl blocked me so quick, y'all. And after that, I left it alone because I don't really have a problem with y'all, y'all. But it was just funny that, girl, why did you go off social media all that time just to come back a week later? And act like wasn't nothing wrong. So then after I got blocked, you guys, she commented, anybody else want to get blocked for worrying about what the F I'm tweeting? And then Money Yaya continues, no one could ever love me the way you do. I need you in my life. No one could compare to you. And then Money Yaya said, I want to go back to Utah, y'all. And I died when I seen that because you remember why B took all the sister wives to Utah for Christmas and Money Yaya was there with him, y'all. Woo! y'all it's so much tea i am telling y'all like i don't even know how to put all of this stuff together to make y'all understand because i should have just been posting it day by day as it happened like i usually do but i was just so tired y'all i've been working so hard so moving along you guys fredo bang there was a live that came out on instagram yesterday i believe and it was basically a fredo bang in a room full of guys talking about baby mamas and loving them and he necessarily didn't say any names you guys but let's go ahead and look at this clip so i can go ahead and continue what i'm trying to say oh no you're not respecting you i'm baby mama and i loved it i caught feelings yes it was good i ate her and everything yes i love her yeah i can't i was king i cleaned it right there so as you can see for yourself you guys he never said any names but immediately after this live had basically got spread around the internet y'all will never guess who started tweeting repeatedly back to back like y'all honestly it happened so quick i didn't even have time to register what fredo was talking about on the live before jania started tweeting like wait 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 what's going on but y'all know some of the shade pages are messy you guys so i wouldn't put it past them to have allegedly hit up jania and sent her some things basically pertaining to what Fredo Bang was talking about on live to make her think that he was talking about her. Jania came on her Twitter and said, anybody that bring negativity and lies to me getting blocked. Because this stuff getting out of hand and I don't have time. Then she said, and all y'all dog AHs love that story so much. Because y'all want to start back up confusion, but ha ha ha, too bad, it's a lie. So then you guys, Fredo Bang replies back via Twitter and he says, nobody spoke on that clown. Guilty tongue always speak. I forgot you existed. And then Jania says, you doing the same stuff, expecting different results. And then Jania said, y'all fan page is messy and messing up my energy. I'm finna get to blocking. Don't bring ish this way. I DGAF if Obama said he dated me. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to know. Then she said, ugh, I'm so heated. Of course, you guys, I'm nosy. And if I need some tea, I'm going to go to the source. If I'm able to. So I had hit Fredo up to ask him if the information that he was saying in the live was about Jania. And he said no, that it was not. He said that actually the live got cut short. 
and the conversation between him and his friends were basically if he has ever had sex with someone's baby mama. He says that yes he did and he fell in love. And I don't know Fredo you guys really on a personal level because y'all know all I really do is report on YB so I mean just experiencing these new artists and new topics is just something new to me. However I really wanted to understand where Fredo was coming from from the live before I put it in my video because I just didn't want to be running and saying just anything. When I contacted Fredo I wasn't under the impression that he was going to send me any information. I really just wanted to pick his brain to see what the live was really about and maybe he could just give me some insight as to how I could narrate my next video without actually making anyone seem like the bad guy. I felt where Fredo Bang was coming from and I necessarily didn't want to expose him but I wanted to give y'all the tea and it's just really hard sometimes being an entertainer and trying to report on certain situations without making it seem like you're digging too deep or trying to do too much but I just really wanted to be able to explain to you guys what really happened so when I was talking to Fredo in the DM he ended up sending me video footage of Jania and him on the phone together and he basically had explained to me that, that he wasn't out to get YB and that he really doesn't even have a problem with him and that there is really no beef and it's just that the fans YB's fans and his fans keep beef up and I don't know how true this is you guys but this is just what he expressed to me and I'm just relaying it to you guys Fredo and I had a very lengthy conversation you guys and I'm not gonna tell you everything we talked about but for the gist of the information he said that he is in love with Jania he said that he never in any way shape form or fashion wanted to hurt Jania or intentionally did anything to damage Jania's character or her name and he loves her and he just wishes the best for her and he even told me that Jania is a good person she just makes mistakes and I totally understand exactly where Fredo was coming from because I myself have been following Jania for a long time and I know some of y'all Jania fans just don't agree with me and my commentary and my entertainment and sometimes you guys are just not in agreement with things that are said about Jania Michelle however I can report the good and the bad on her and I have no problem I don't know if y'all know that Jania Nia is actually my favorite baby mama out of NBA Young Boys Sister Wives and I wouldn't never intentionally do anything to damage her character you guys but I'm an entertainment page so anything that's floating around on the internet that other YouTubers are talking about I'm going to talk about it too and I mean sometimes it may seem like that I'm too opinionated when it comes down to NBA Young Boy and his entourage and things that go on around him however this is my commentary and I mean it's freedom of speech I felt like that y'all vibe more with me when I keep it real with y'all on how I really feel about certain situations concerning Jania Michelle I mean I've been following the girl for a while now and I have loved seeing her grow into a beautiful young woman and learning her value and her worth and seeing the true potential in herself without needing a man however just because I like Jania doesn't mean that I'm not gonna report on the bad things she do because at the end of the day I'm not a diehard fan like y'all People who have allowed for Jania to win them over feel like that the whole world is supposed to feel as they do, but I'm sorry, I don't. So I'm guessing in retaliation to what Jania was posting on her Twitter, you guys, Fredo has said that it's all a game until the truth come out, and I really got to wondering then. And then he said, if I was petty, I'd show this video. So then, of course, I asked him what video he was talking about, and then he sent it to me, you guys, and he repeatedly asked me over and over and over not to post it. I mean, he made me promise, and I said that I would not post the video, y'all. I mean, because I had talked about it last year when Jania was caught on live with Fredo, and she rushed off live real quick like she was ashamed to even be caught with him. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know curiosity killed the cat because when i got to thinking like dang okay they did get caught on live that one time and she did rush off like 
she was embarrassed. And I was just so lost because all of the shade pages were trying to say that Fredo was basically promoting an album or a song that he has coming out. And he always uses clout off YB and the sister wives in order to get it. But I can see from my own two eyes that when Fredo uploads music, he has his own fan base. I don't even think that he's trying to steal anything from YB. And from what I can hear you guys, Fredo's music doesn't sound nothing like YB's. Even though the video is now online, you guys, and all over the internet, I did not post it. I did not give it to any shade pages, and I kept my promise to Fredo about not leaking it. However, since it is on the internet, he thinks I did it, but I didn't. The video Fredo Bang had provided me of him and Jania Michelle talking on FaceTime was when Jania Michelle had did this video six months ago. The same outfit and clothing she has on in this video is the same outfit and clothing she had on in the video that Fredo has sent me. I understand the reason Fredo might think that I have posted that video because I was hyping it up the entire time but I really felt like on the cool I was just getting you guys prepared for this video as well as vouching for Fredo Bang. I mean, because I know that it has to irritate his soul every time he tries to do new music or move on in some type of relationship that people have to connect him somehow, some way to YB or trying to steal clout from YB. I posted on my Twitter, but yes, Fredo sent me a video of Jania that I'm not going to post because I told him I wouldn't. This ain't no beef A stuff about G Money or no YB beef. Yes, he never said no names, but the fact that she ran to her Twitter with Twitter fingers and now her fans are all over the place. I mean, you guys don't ask me how I thought that I was helping the situation. Because me posting saying that I have video footage really just like blew up in my face and everyone started bashing me and harassing me on my social media. Jania's fans started reporting my Instagram. It really almost got deleted today you guys and you know what i'm just sorry i went digging and i want to personally apologize to fredo bang as well as jania michelle because at the end of the day i'm not out here to hurt nobody or tell nobody down but y'all be the ones putting y'all business on the internet so when i finally got the courage to put on my instagram that i was gonna go ahead and expose this situation in between jania and fredo he hit me up in my dm again you guys and asked me not to post it he did not want it out there. I honestly don't know how it got out there. And honestly, if anybody out there is saying they got it from me, I'm going to need some DMs because I don't delete no messages. However, I'm pretty sure that y'all will run across that video somewhere on the internet, but I'm not going to show it here. And I do apologize for the ones that don't agree with my decision. Janine Michelle continued to tweet on her Twitter after the fact of the video hitting the internet. I'm not sure what shade page it's on you guys because i honestly have not seen it yet like physically on a shade page so i'm not sure y'all the facetime call looked like it happened about six months ago you guys around the time jania got her braces removed i heard a lot of shade pages talking about this video that's out that was allegedly leaked on the internet it's old and everyone has already seen it and it's been talked about however i've never seen this video y'all ever since that I've been following and reporting on Jania Michelle. Oh, so y'all, to be honest, at this point, I don't know what to say because Jania went to her Twitter and said, I did it, I apologized, I moved on, the end. And then she immediately came back and said, I was talking about my friend, not that other situation. I was thinking she was talking about the Fredo Bang situation. And then Pretty Licia on Twitter said to Jania, Nini, you the same person that said the noodles jumped out of the pot and fought you. We can't believe you, mamas. And then Jania said, I'm on my BS. No love for nobody. Here. F out of here. I'm done being Jania. And then a Jania fan commented, they done woke up the real you. They finna hate it here, sis. And then Jania says, things I've done, I wouldn't expect you to love me the same. So, man, y'all know that allegedly Jania had been dating DeJounte Murray. I'm not sure if they were really dating or if they was just buddies. But on the flip side, I don't 
think that DeJounte Murray likes what he's been seeing in these social media streets concerning his alleged girlfriend, Jania Michelle. It seems like DeJounte Murray has been keeping his eye on Jania Michelle because right after that Fredo Bang stuff happened, DeJounte Murray had posted on his story, they say that it's love out their mouth, but that ish is fake. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below and let me know what you think DeJounte Murray meant by that because y'all know that he really stays out of beef. And before we get out of here you guys kl marie's fans and supporters are saying that she basically photoshopped her pregnant belly i don't know how true it is you guys but they said that her arm looks warped what do you think however i did receive this in my dm from a k fan that says she went live from a private page and showed her belly I don't know if this is real, you guys, because I also heard that K.O. Marie lost her baby girl and now is pregnant again with a baby boy. And that's why she hasn't been too excited to tweet about it. And this is all alleged news, you guys. But thank you so much for tuning in with me. And I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. So long, so long. Sleeping from soap with a soap. from soap with a soap. Now I'm a step on these little bitty bitches. Here's some brand new Gucci. Love some Gucci walking on. I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now it's been as when I walk.